Hello, my friend. What are you eating? Mate, this is goulash. Goulash? Yeah. Before you start making your guillage, remember, take yourself down to the local butcher and get smoked beef, lamb or pork bones. Without the smoked bones, your guillage will be flat, average. It's not good. You want the best guillage you ever make, okay? The first thing you want to put in your guillage is one big chopped obese onion. Then you put three crushed garlic. It starts it off and then you will put in your meat. You will need chuck or blade steak. Quick sale is good. Full price is no good. It's rubbish. Parsley. Carrot. Crumply. I mean potatoes. Peeled potatoes. Caraway seed. Garlic. Tomato paste. Sweet Hungarian paprika. Olive oil. When you use your oil, use olive oil. And don't be shy. It's better to use too much than a too little. This oil here is good, but this one here is no good. It's for communist car, like a Škoda. And very important, celery with the leaves. Make sure the leaves are on the branch on the top. Welcome to my upgraded premium kitchen. To start your guillage, you will need a family size big stainless steel pot, like this one. Put it on the stove, get your heat on, get your oil ready, and we are good to go. Oh, much better. Next thing, you will get a chuck steak. Understandably, it's a little bit fat, but it's okay. You start taking off the real yucky white bits, like this one. It's too much. You want to take that off? This is no good. The rest is okay, but that's a too much. Once you have cut up your chuck steak, it's ready to go with the onion and garlic into your big pot. After this, you want to get your smoked bones, add it all in, because it's very important with the smoked bones. Here, we just chuck it in the pan, give it a big stir. Next, we are going to add some paprika, some herb spices, and tomato paste. One, two, and a half. Hungarian sweet paprika. Mm. Maybe one or two tablespoons is good. So, next into the guillage, you've got celery, carrot, and a crumpling or a potato. Then, the very important ingredient is this one. The top part of the celery leaves. Let's give it a good mix. Next, we need one teaspoon of caraway seed. It's very good. Caraway seed, then we need a chipesh paprika, which is a chili flake. One big teaspoon as well. That won't be too hot. Oops. Then we need some salt. Don't be shy with the salt. Two or three te teaspoon. Then pepper. Don't be shy again. Flavor, flavor is always very important. Again, give it a good mix. And we are ready to get the water and make a stock. Tea towel is very good. Stainless steel side, you can burn your hands. It's not pleasant. Fill up your family sized guillage pot all the way just to the top of the bone. Not too much more. Just top of the bone. If you have a look, that's enough water. We won't need too much extra stock powder. 
back on the heat. Let's get it up to a boiling point. What are you cooking? A goulash? One of the last things we need to do is while the pot is on boil, we go outside and get fresh parsley. In your garden, hopefully you have some parsley like this one. Get a two big sprig, take that inside, chop it up, put it in your goulash. Once your parsley is diced, if it's roughly chopped, it's all right. Put that in your goulash, give it a big stir again. Then our very last ingredients is for a beef stock. Powdered beef stock is okay. Even if you want to use chicken stock for something different, that's fine too. Either one is good. That is fine. Oh, I forgot something. If you want authentic Hungarian flavor, a communist hammer like this one is good to stir with. Once you have stirred with your communist hammer, let it sit for about one, two hours on simmer on very low. Then you are ready for your Hungarian dancing in between. After about one and a half to two hours, your goyash is ready. The meat is beautiful and soft and you are ready to serve it up in your favorite bowl, like dates. Here, goyash smells beautiful. Also, for more flavor, we Hungarians, we love to add a little bit of a chili, like a cayenne pepper, and a chipesh paprika, or a dry chili flake. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, for your final touch to your epic goyash meal, you will need to buy a large, white, crusty loaf like dates. Then, you take your bread knife, cut off a nice big chunk, take your butter knife, Spread it all around, and my friends, this is bloody beautiful, mate!